kind of lesson I think would be DT. DT is where you make things out of wood. Like right now, um, our first lesson was DT and we were doing a boat which will go on the sea. Within our prep school, we have a very exciting adventure in relation to our STEAM projects, um, which is orientated around engineering. It's a cross-curricular uh, format that uh, brings into play the, uh, the DT department, the art department, science, maths, uh, geography in relation to the ecosystem and how things can impact on the environment. Uh, and it's a really exciting way of generating um, real life experiences for the children. I think for me, it's the passion and the energy that the children have with anything they have thrown at them with ideas. They just get fully involved with what they're doing. And we have a go at doing absolutely everything from drawing, painting, clay work, even with the art and DT in year seven and eight, we're making kit cars. And it gets the children thinking about how cars can be eco-friendly, but still be quite fast and streamlined. So we start them off in year three, which would be lower than a lot of schools. And in year three, they start off by learning how to use basic hand tools, coping saws, and they make um, calendars. And so it's all about getting them to follow a line with a saw. Um, and then they slowly, as we go through the school, they build up. And in year four, they start to use the power tools that we've got. And it just gets slightly more complicated. Uh, we start to use plastics as well as wood. And then we go into electronics. And it's a place, a sanctuary for for many of them who love coming in here at lunch times, doing clubs after school, scholarship. So it, it has a lot of energy here. With the cross-curricular work here, um, we have amazing projects that the children actually take part in. The year threes today, that was actually a science lesson today. So it was really nice to get the cross-curricular idea across and get them actually making parts of the body. So today we were studying the heart. So they've made the heart in clay and then they're learning all about that in their science lesson. So they actually have models to go along with their written work as well, which I think is really important for them. I mean, it's an exciting area at the moment in the DT room. Um, there's lots of different things going on in there. Um, and we're trying more and more to sort of involve the children with model making and using different types of materials. I like making stuff myself, so always showing students how to make things, I, I quite enjoy that. Um, working along with them as well and helping them out is one of the better things, yeah. <laughs>